welcome to Journey with Gio. Today, let's make chicken shawarma rice platter. So let's marinate our chicken. I'm using three pieces of chicken thighs, sliced into small pieces. And I'm going to use my gloves to marinate. All right, ready. Where's my chicken? Don't have chicken. Here's my chicken. I'm adding one tablespoon lemon juice. Three garlic minced and one green chili. A pinch of crushed red pepper. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. One teaspoon coriander powder. One teaspoon red chili powder. Half a teaspoon cumin powder. Half a teaspoon sumac. This is what it looks like. Salt to taste, one tablespoon ginger, now let's add yogurt, I have three tablespoons of whisked yogurt and mix well. Let's put our chicken in the fridge. So this is one cup of basmati rice. I soaked it overnight. Now let's make our rice. To make the rice, let's heat up a medium sized pan and add two tablespoons of oil. You can use vegetable oil or canola oil. I'm using canola oil here today. Once the oil is hot, add red onion. Let's add salt. If you add salt to the onion, it will saute a little bit faster. Now our onion is sauteed. Let's add half a teaspoon of minced garlic, a little bit of minced ginger, and I have a piece of green chili from earlier, from when I marinated the chicken. Saute it for about one minute and add a half teaspoon of turmeric powder. Reduce the heat to low flame and add a pinch of cashmere chili powder. Mix it and immediately add two cups of water. For one cup of rice, we'll need two cups of water extra flavor, I'm going to add a little bit of chicken stock. This is unsalted chicken stock. And now we'll add our rice. Again, this is basmati rice. Cook until all the water is evaporated. Okay, while the rice is cooking, let's bake our chicken. Baking is healthier than frying. All the water has been evaporated. Now cover and cook for about five more minutes. While our chicken is cooking, Let's make the sauce. This is avocado oil based mayo. About four tablespoons. Half a teaspoon of ketchup. Our chicken shawarma is ready. See, the rice is ready. If you have saffron at home, add a little bit of saffron on top. It's ready. Let's taste it. This is my favorite part. I 
it is delicious. Make this recipe and let me know how you like it in the comment sections below. And always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time with a different video. Bye-bye.